In January 2025 the Commonwealth Educational Media Center for Asia, SEMCA, collaborated with the Central Board of Secondary Education, CBSE and the Council for the Indian School Certificate Examination CISCE, to pilot a pioneering AI initiative called the Teacher in the Loop AI. The Teacher in the Loop AI journey began with a focused subject, Grade 9 Mathematics, a crucial area where many students struggle and teachers face instructional challenges. A committed cohort of over 80 practicing teachers from across the country came together to lead this effort. Through a series of structured online and offline workshops and training they explored how to blend pedagogy with AI-supported resource development. An AI-powered OER adaptation tool was developed specifically to support the initiative and content generation aligned with the NCERT curriculum. Teachers worked in groups and individually to generate, curate, peer review and contextualize open educational resources. With the support of AI, each resource underwent multiple teacher-led peer reviews and an expert review ensuring quality, accuracy, and classroom relevance. The process concluded with fine-tuning the AI tool with relevant feedback and contribution from the teachers, and preparing over 100 curated resources for publication and classroom use. This virtual recognition program is dedicated to honoring the stellar contributions and unwavering commitment of the participating teachers, who have led with innovation, collaboration, and purpose throughout the Teacher in the Loop AI journey. Had someone asked me four months ago what AI meant for educators like me, I might have said, maybe it's the future, but I'm not just ready for my classroom now. But then came the teacher in loop AI, which is not just a program, but a spark. Week by week, I found myself learning, experimenting, and slowly shifting my perspective. I have realized that although AI is an incredibly powerful tool for content creation and classroom support, but it cannot, you know, completely replace the intuition, the empathy, and the contextual understanding that a teacher brings to the classroom. So human expertise, it will remain essential. It helps us to understand the need of the underprivileged section of teachers and students who live in remote areas who have no access or limited access to all the teaching learning materials we have. It also gave us an opportunity to meet all the great fellow teacher learners from all across India and work in collaboration with them. It has supported me in planning lessons, faster, creative, good learning material and helping students with different learning needs. Most important, importantly, I have learned that it's very important to use AI with human thinking, care and values. Before this July, I might have been seen that AI as a distant concept. But uh, now, uh, I view that it is a powerful co-pilot for education. It's truly shifted my perception of what is possible. Wonderful experience. I've learned so many things and uh, by meeting the other teachers, experience, uh, sharing their experiences and learn how the technology they are uh, indulging in their teaching method. It gave us a space to explore, contribute and learn how AI can be harnessed to support classroom teaching. experience was a great platform. I felt privileged to be a part of that. I attended the workshops at New Delhi with enriching and with great participants from all over the country. We developed open educational resources, resource materials, OERs. We created lesson plans, activities and teaching material using this platform. We work in group home and later we work individually also. Today I see AI not as a threat but as a bridge connecting traditional values of teaching with the future learning. Initially I viewed AI as just a tool for some basic task but through this initiative I discovered that it is a powerful potential tool for the teaching. The concept of non-examples was a big thing to learn which I am still using in the classes. I learned how to represent abstract topics 
to the students how relate technology with this abstract topics how to use ai to dealt with this abstract topic